Okay, so I took the piece of art that we're needing and I scaled it up to actual size, which is 11 inches. And then I chose export selection. I made sure that it was a PNG and I exported. So I already did that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up right down here. This is um, Separation Studio and it's going on black shirts. So up here you'll see that it is black shirts. You can see that, black shirts. And you can change the color of shirt, based on what color shirt you're using. But we're using black, so we're gonna leave it as black. And I'm going to open. I'm sure this would have been better as a screencast. And Sorry. Okay, we're gonna go to desktop, and this folder right here is where it went. So we grab Steam, our PNG, and open it. And there it is, and it shows you all the colors we're gonna use. Now, we've only got five heads on our press, so we're gonna bring that down. And we're gonna go merge gray. Okay. Merge gray. We're gonna merge purple. And we're gonna merge turquoise. And you can see that brings it down to one, two, three, four, five, six screens. Now, I've got an underbase white and a white top. So I can go up here to channels and I can apply channel. My source is gonna be the white top and I'm gonna to target the underbase. Apply that. Now it took the white top and applied it to the underbase. So now I can delete the white top and all that information will still be there. Now I'm just gonna look and see if there's any other screens we can eliminate. That still looks pretty good to me. But what if we didn't print green? We lose that line right in there. But that's the only thing I see really changing much, is that one line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply the green. We're gonna apply channel. And we're gonna make our source be the green. And we're going to apply it to blue. Now we're gonna do the same thing. And we're going to, where is it? Apply channel. The source is gonna be green. And this time, instead of blue, our source is gonna be gold because blue and gold make green. Now, we're gonna delete our green channel. Now it's not showing up here, but from experience, I know that it will blend that blue and gold together and make it green. So now we're down to a four color print, which is even better. Let's take a look at the blue, because there's not a whole lot going on. You can see, there's our blue. What's, it, what's this design look like if I delete blue? And not so good. That really changes quite a bit. Okay, my last step is, I'm gonna make sure this is nice and bright because we did take the white type, white top off. I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna adjust channel. And that brings this up and we're just gonna brighten this whole thing up. Right in there. And then let's see if we can go channel and adjust all channels. Actually, let's try auto, to auto adjust and see what it does. Oh yeah, that really brought out a lot of, that looks good. Um, I don't see much else I wanna change. I really like the looks of that. So from that point, I'm going to save as, I wanna make sure it goes to my desktop. And that's fine, it can be called asset one. I don't really care at this point because I'm just gonna use it for a little bit. I'm gonna go into Corel Draw. I suppose you could probably do this. I'm gonna open up asset one that we just saved. It's an EPS. All right, there it is. Next, we are, I'm doing this all one-handed, so be merciful. I need a, I need a registration mark. I think I know where one is. Come 
control C. Control V. One there. One there. And we need to align and distribute. Take that 90 degrees. Get this off the artboard. Okay, this is taking way too long. Line and distribute that now. All right. Now our height is 6.2. So we're going to make this 17 by 7. I'm going to move it over to one edge. And. <laughs> white. The screen I'm showing you is not actually the white film, but you'll see why I do that here in a second. Select everything, copy, create a new page. Well, that's weird. Okay. Three, four. Control V. Three, control V, page two, control V, then go all the way over to page four. And I'm gonna delete this until I see what is the white screen. That's the white screen. Now I'm gonna delete one. I'm on page three. I'm gonna delete one, two. That's the third image. Now I don't know what color that is. I think it's red because I see the bricks. But one way to be sure is click over here and then click the red and then see if this image matches our image. And you can click back and forth just to make sure. And that looks red to me. So I'm gonna say that's red Obviously, this makes it a lot easier for the press room. Page two. All right. I'm going to guess this is probably yellow, but let's go look. That is yellow. So we'll go back into Corel. It's yellow. And then we go down to page one, and we don't need to delete. Oh, okay, no, we do need to delete one. I got a little bit off here. This is, the, this is obviously royal. Royal. All right. Now, I'm just going to scroll through everything, make sure that I've got four colors. Royal, yellow red and white. We're going to print. I'm going to leave all four pages. This is going to do all four pages at once. We're going to switch over to accurate, go to preferences, advanced, postscript, 17 by 7, Separations. Okay, that's scary that we have a Pantone black. We should not have a Pantone black, so I'm going to deselect CMYK black, hit apply, and print preview, and see what's showing up. It, of course, it's all my registration marks. So we're going to back out of here. Cancel. 
I'm just selecting everything and making sure it's all CMYK. Go through that print process again. Accurate, preferences, advanced, postscript, 17 by 7, we're still good. Separations. All right, now we just have all CMYK black, so we're good. We're going to apply, print preview, and we have one, two, three. We're good. And we're going to click print. That's it. We're done. That's how to output film from Separation Studio.